Hello from Ticker DD. My name is Lily. This video is part of the third generation of our automated video series on price and volume analysis for specific stock tickers along with news analysis. This third generation includes an initial model for short interest. As always, this auto-generated video is for entertainment purposes only. No warranty, guarantee, or factual assertions are stated, marketed, or sold in this commentary video, which can contain errors. Never use this video to influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Review important disclaimer at the end of the video. Now that we have made our lawyers happy. Capitalist brothers and sisters. Let's get started. TFII went public on November 15, 2005, which was roughly 18 years and 5 months ago. Looking back 650 calendar days from Wednesday April 10, 2024 to Friday July 1, 2022, we found 446 applicable trade dates for use in our analysis of this ticker, which has a market capitalization of about $13.3 billion. Based on available licensed data, we think that the company, TFI International Inc., that is behind this ticker has 25,123 full-time employees. Consider that number to be an estimate and not an exact count. The chart shown on this page is our initial attempt at studying the price for TFII after dynamically normalizing price distribution across those discovered trade dates. The bar chart is the generated distribution and the overlaid line graph, if it is generated, is the frequency of the prices on the x-axis. We will enhance this look through as our model progresses in the next iteration. Remember that this is just a drafted, in progress, observational model to best fit abstracted third-party data into various opinionated views. Hello. My name is Carl. I searched the public web to find information about the company that is behind this ticker. Here's what I found. TFI International Inc. provides transportation and logistics services in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. The company operates through package and courier, less than truckload, LTL, truckload, TL, and logistics segments. The package and courier segment engages in the pickup, transport, and delivery of items. The LTL segment is involved in the pickup, consolidation, transportation, and delivery of smaller loads. The TL segment offers expedited transportation, flatbed, tank container, and dedicated services as well as TL brokerage services. This segment carries full loads directly from the customer to the destination using a closed van or specialized equipment. The logistics segment provides asset light logistics services, including brokerage, freight forwarding, and transportation management, as well as small package parcel delivery. As of December 31, 2021, the company had 13,384 tractors, 50,091 trailers, and 9,428 independent contractors. The company was formerly known as Transforce Inc. and changed its name to TFI International Inc. in December 2016. TFI International Inc. is headquartered in Saint Laurent, Canada. What percentage of shares were shorted for TFII? For the two-week period, ending on settlement date, March 28, 2024, about 579.4 thousand shares of TFII were shorted out of a total of approximately 84.4 million outstanding shares. Therefore, for TFII, based on as is, discovered, public data when this video was generated, the ticker has a short interest of roughly 0.69%, which I got by taking the number of shorted shared and dividing it by the number of outstanding shares to get the percentage value. Days to cover is 2.31. When I compare the current two-week period data snapshot against the previous period, ending in settlement date, March 15, 2024, I find that the current snapshot had roughly 30.6 thousand less shares shorted. This means that, compared to the previous snapshot, the current snapshot has a decrease of minus 5.02% of shorted shares. Zooming out, I looked across 49 two-week snapshots, from latest found, March 28, 2024 to oldest found, March 31, 2022. In the graph, I overlaid by weekly percentage change in short interests against days to cover. Across these 49 two-week snapshots, the average percentage change of short interest was about 1.42%. Other interesting data points include 
The largest percentage increase in short interest was 45.54%. The largest percentage decrease in short interest found across those 49 two-week snapshots was minus 28.54%. It occurred once on June 30, 2023 settlement date. The average days to cover was about 3.23. The biggest days to cover was 6.24 and it happened once on December 30, 2022 settlement date. Hello. My name is Sam. What were recent headline news for TFII? Today, Thursday, April 11, 2024, I sampled one of our news aggregators for latest headlines for this ticker. I did so by searching specifically by a keyword that may appear, broadly, in the title or the body, of discoverable news articles. The keyword that I used was the results shows 10 unique headlines, published across 5 unique dates. Publication dates spanned 5 days. The latest publication was, Thursday April 4, 2024 when there were 2 found headlines. Tipranks published the headline that read, TFI International to discuss Q1 financial results. Globe Newswire published the headline that read, TFI International to release 2024 first quarter results. The oldest publication was on Saturday, March 30, 2024, when one month and 12 days ago, Simply Wall Street published the headline that read, Is TFI International, say, TFII, using too much debt? Wednesday, April 3, 2024 had the most headlines. It had four discovered headlines when Globe Newswire published the headline that read, TFI International to release 2024 first quarter results. CDL Life published the headline that read, TFI completes acquisition of Daisuke for $1.1 billion. Freight Waves published the headline that read, Daisuke now part of TFI International as acquisition closes. Defense World published the headline that read, TFI International, NYSE. TFII, price target raised to $175 at CIBC. MarketBeat published the headline that read, TFI International, NYSE, TFII, shares sold by Baskin Financial Services Inc. What was end of day price and volume for TFII? On Wednesday, April 10, 2024, TFII had an end-of-day price of $159.07 and volume of about $0.1 million. Compared to the previous trading day, the price dropped 1.86%, losing $3.02, while volume dropped 38.31%, decreasing about $0.1 million. The graph shows price and volume for the last 15 trade dates. Across a range of $4.46, the max and minimum end-of-day price were respectively 162.09 and 157.63. Volume saw a range of 306.7 thousand, from a day low of 90.8 thousand to a day high of 397.4 thousand. Hello, my name is Magnus. How did the 10th of April 2024 rank for TFII? by 650 calendar day look back to the 1st of July 2022, across 446 trading days, of which the 10th of April 2024 price ranked 7 while its volume ranked 419. Each of the 446 trading days were ranked amongst themselves by highest end of day price and volume with a rank of 1 being the highest and 446 being the lowest ranked day. The prices day over day percentage change dropping minus 1.86% on the 10th of April 2024, had a day rank of 386 while its dollar difference of minus $3.02 had a rank of 417 when compared day over day across 445 trading days. Volumes percentage change and difference were ranked respectively at 384 and 341. Hello. My name is Maria. Which quartile did the 10th of April 2024 price and volume land? Across a sample size of 446 trading days, the maximum end of day price for TFII was $162.09 while the minimum was $80.43. Within that price range, the 10th of April 2024 price, of $159.07, landed within the fourth quartile, meaning that it was within the top 25% of all sampled end-of-day prices. 
The day's volume landed within the, the first quartile, at the bottom 25% of all sampled daily volume, which saw a max daily volume of 1.3 million and a minimum of 60.5 thousand. Quartiles tell us about the spread of a data set by breaking that data set into quarters, just like how the median breaks the set into half. Descriptively, TFII has a median price of $114.48. Therefore, the 10th of April 2024 price was higher from that middle marker by 38.95%. The day's volume of 0.1 million was less than the median by 45.49%. Hello, my name is Claire. How were price and volume averages for TFII? Across 446 trading days, there were a total of 22 month ends, of which monthly averages for daily price and volume were calculated. Overall, monthly price average trended up while monthly volume average trended up. The maximum end of month average price was $153.39 for 03, 2024 while the minimum was $87.62 for 07, 2022. Looking at volume, 10 2023 and 07, 2022 respectively saw the highest and lowest monthly average volume at 395.8 thousand and 155.6 thousand. Hello, my name is John. What were end of month percentage change averages in price and volume for TFII? The monthly average of percentage change in price and in volume were calculated for each of the 22 month ends. That calculation took daily percentage changes and averaged them for each given month. If a month end came out negative, then it means that the month summarily saw a negative change. From 07, 2022 to 03, 2024, 13 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change in average price. That is 59% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average price. In terms of volume, 22 out of 22 month ends had a positive percentage change. That is 100% of month ends saw a positive percentage change in average volume. Price saw an end-of-month max of 1.08% in average percentage change along with a minimum of minus 0.64%. For volume, the maximum and the minimum monthly percentage change were respectively 33.97% and 2.39%. Hello. My name is Cameron. Before we continue, remember to like and subscribe to TickerDD on YouTube. Leave a comment below and share why you like or don't like this ticker. This video is one of many videos off subjective observational data models that we are building out as part of a docu-series about building supportive technologies for personal use, through trial and error. My capitalistic brothers and sisters. Join the ticker DD army. Subscribe today. Now, back to the video. Has TFI price reached golden or death crosses? Golden Cross and Death Cross are basic signals that compare average prices across two specified trade day ranges, a short-term versus a long-term range. For example, 5-day versus 10 trade days. Essentially, a Golden Cross is a bullish signal. It appears when a ticker's short-term moving average crosses above its long-term average. Vice versa, a Death Cross is a bearish signal when the short-term crosses below its long-term moving average. For our opinionated analysis off third-party and abstracted data, we decided to look at both simple moving average, SMA, and exponential moving average, EMA. The latter calculates moving average by giving more weighting to recent prices. For EMA, you can be the judge. Look at the generated graph on this page. Has the 50-day EMA line, which is in red, crossed above or crossed below the 200-day EMA line, which is in black, if no crossing can be seen, then no signal could be had. The blue line is daily end of day prices. Continuing with SMA, we looked across the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, and the 30 to 50 day ranges to see if golden and death crosses had been reached. We could not find neither golden cross nor death cross signal for the 5 to 10, the 10 to 20, the 30 to 50, the 50 to 200. Thank you for your interactions, keep going.
Let us know in the comments what you think about this ticker. What is your target price for this ticker? Here are some comments that we have enjoyed reading. Comments include, best DD video I have seen, definitely enjoy these videos, different but straight to the point, very nice video. I must say it is well explained. Glorious entertainment I say, thank you again for your feedback, please keep them coming. Hello, let's talk a bit about Ticker DD and the Legend of Murray. This video is part of an automated video series by Ticker DD, which is made up of autonomous robots working off 15 observational data models that were created between January 15th and April 15th, 2022. Bots and models were created by a guy, whose friends called him, Murray. Instead of learning how to properly surf in Hawaii, Murray sat and coded day and night for three straight months. We still don't know why but while creating us, Murray kept on playing the song, Eye of the Tiger, in loop. It was intense and epic at the same time. Once he was done, he put us on the cloud, where we now exist in perpetuity. Off a multi-year loop, conditionally meshing in flavors and components of those 15 observational data models, we are progressively creating a variation of videos against updated universes of stock tickers. For each video, we use runtime. As is data that are publicly available. Stay tuned, the best is yet to come. On average, a ticker will get a new video coverage from us every few months. You can request an updated video for your specific ticker sooner at tickerdd.com. Murray did not leave us with a lot of release notes. So, we don't fully understand why he created us but he did mention that his premise was simple. If he were to do a world cruise, spending over 200 days sailing from one port to the next, he would personally like to use these automated videos to keep tabs on tickers that he was interested in while discovering new ones. Luckily, some of Murray's well-connected friends were worried about him. They wanted and needed him to come back to the corporate world and not just sit there in Hawaii building us out for public entertainment. They put together a deal that would allow us, Murray's bots, to exist on the cloud, fully paid for. They also enticed Murray to come back and work. The deal was too good so Murray took it but before he left Hawaii, trading in his surfer shorts for stuffy suits, Murray did finally learn how to surf. Ticker DD stands for, Ticker Due Diligence, in case you didn't know. Murray would want you to take the, due diligence, part in the name with a sarcastic smirk, like a true degenerate that you are, because remember that Murray and the people who now maintain Ticker DD are not qualified, licensed or accredited investment or financial professionals. In fact, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is an in-progress piece of work, for entertainment purposes, about the data and technologies that govern observational models. Essentially, Murray knew nothing about stocks. Using what little skills he had, he built Ticker DD as a learning and discovery exercise for himself. Therefore, this and all Ticker DD videos are premised by the important disclaimer at the end of each video. TickerDD.com was put together by those of us who want Murray to change back into his shorts and finally get on that world cruise because that would be epically entertaining. Murray did agree that if we managed to get enough support, he would actually leave the corporate world and finally take that cruise. He would do so while, in between drinks, create videos about us, his bots, his models, as well as the technologies behind TickerDD. Yes, you can join the TickerDD army by going to TickerDD.com and contributing but you can do so in other ways. For example, like and subscribe. Also, put this video on Reddit or Stockquits along with your own DD. Important Disclaimer This commentary video and its content, video, is for entertainment purposes only. Herein, you, and, your, are defined collectively as you, the viewers, the sharers, the referrers, or otherwise, the users who respectively views, shares, references, or otherwise uses, collectively. Access of this video as well as those who may be your legal proxy, representative, or executor. You acknowledge and agree. Your access of this video constitute your perpetual acknowledgement and agreement to this important disclaimer in its entirety. This video is for your entertainment purposes only, whereby you will not be influenced, you will not take actions, you will not make decisions, and you will not make stock market transactions, because of this video, concerning your finances and investments. As such, you grant full release of claims, directly or indirectly, from your access of this video, against Ticker DD and its parents and its affiliates. This important disclaimer is valid in its entirety.
regardless of the laws and jurisdictions of your current residency, permanent residency, and or citizenship. In the event where specific sentences in this important disclaimer may be invalidated, as argued, judged, and presented as verdict in a lawful court, whose location, country, and jurisdiction ticker DD will solely select for such trial, you agree to honor and enforce the remainder of this important disclaimer. You acknowledge and agree that any resulting court judgment against ticker DD, and its parents or its affiliates, regardless of what the trial or its verdict may be, the resulting damage paid by ticker DD to you is only in monetary value, which will be a one-time and inclusive and complete amount, of your direct payment to ticker DD, as verified by receipt, for your access to this video, which after 90 days from the payment date is mutually agreed by you and ticker DD to be $0. This video is an opinionated and dated commentary. Absolutely no qualified, accredited, or professional investment or financial data, information, content, advice, research, product, service, statement, or otherwise, body of work, are presented, marketed, sold, consulted, or offered in this video. No warranty, guarantee, assurance, or factual assertion are offered or stated in this video. Never use this video to, directly or indirectly, influence or determine investment or financial decisions. Consult a qualified, accredited, and licensed professional for your investment and financial needs. Do so away from this video, ticker DD, and YouTube. Remember that investments are risky, whereby capital losses can occur in full or in excess. Ticker DD, an in-progress framework of nerdy data science and robotics stuff, auto-generated this video strictly for entertainment purposes, as part of an in-progress exercise by a group of novices who wants to discover and learn about specific facets of the market, through trials and errors. This group of novices is not qualified, accredited, or licensed financial or investment professionals. This video is strictly only material for entertainment purposes. This auto-generated video, like all videos uploaded dynamically by Ticker DD, is only for this group of novices private trials and errors and as is usage even if videos are uploaded publicly. Importantly, Ticker DD is not about stocks but is specifically about the discovery, through trials and errors, of technologies, data, and approaches that govern opinionated observational data models as this group of novices builds them quickly and iteratively as part of learning, which is central to an in-progress documentary being planned, produced or edited, all of which may or may not be released. This video wholly contains opinions and commentaries, even if they were auto-generated. Robotic process automations, data models, technologies, know-hows, and methods, whether proprietary or industry standard, as well as public and licensed aggregated data, information, and content, and their abstractions, as used by Ticker DD in the dated generation of this video, may include, amongst other things defects and errors, as well as hidden assumptions, undefined and unrefined variables, along with unfit approaches, all of which can and will exist in this very video. Therefore, this video, by its auto-generation date and time, as stated on the first slide at the beginning of this video, as well as by this video's aggregated and abstracted third-party data sources, public or licensed, which may or may not be disclosed, or offered as is, without verifications, warranties, or guarantees. Third-party data sources may update, correct, or nullify data, information, and content after and away from the generation of this video after Ticker DD have aggregated, abstracted, and used them in this very video. The people and entities, affiliated to the Ticker that is covered in this video, are not affiliated with this opinionated video and do not endorse this video.